ಕಿರಿಯಣಿಸೂಲಿ ಮಲ್ಲದ ಪಾಣಿಗಳೇ This summer I went to India to make a film about possession and traditional healing. Possession is in the western world often dismissed as a superstition, even though it does have an entry in the DSM, a widely used handbook that classifies and describes mental disorders. This movie is not aimed at validating or disproving the notion of possession, but rather at showing how possession is understood locally. In India life is saturated with religion, rituals and the supernatural. Every aspect of life is in some way connected to metaphysical beliefs. Traditional healers are ubiquitous, offering a wide variety of practices and theories about disease. Possession is accepted by many as a very real phenomenon. This can be possession by either a spirit or a deity. I explored this notion in the context of Muslim dargahs and Hindu temples. A dargah is a place where a Muslim saint is buried. People go to the dargah to ask the saint to pray for them and to get a blessing. I spoke to Mansur, who works in Mount Road Dargah in Chennai. I am one of the trustee, I am one of the hereditary trustee of the Dargah. So we are the descendants of the Holy Saint. So we come from the family of the Holy Saint. In Muslim faith, spirits are called jinns and they are mentioned in the Holy Quran. Jinn is something like a soul. Jinns have no body, no kind of shape or figure or size. See, once when a jinn enters the human body, the human, the humanness moves away. The humanness moves away, and it's only the control of the jinn, the soul of the jinn is only that control the human body. The physical movement, everything get controlled only by the human body. These good jinns are being utilized by the the middle level man who do the kind of. the the basic the I, i should say the middle level soul treatment like people who do this black magic they do this for their personal benefit for personal gain like if i find like tomorrow somebody is an obstacle in my business to remove him from my path mm-hmm. i utilize this middleman mm-hmm. and they will use the bad they will use the bad jinn they know which which the phrases to be read from the holy quran how to control a jinn this are, these are not the saints i'm saying these are people who have attained a level a degree you know where they know how to uh, you know catch hold of a jinn how to pull them and get them into the bottle so, so these are the middle level people they are not the saints in kovalam a village near chennai i visited another small dargah Alahuddin is the healer there who conducts the rituals. Nena or 15 years ago. How did you do that? I don't know. I'm going to get rid of it. 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 You are here. You are here. You are here. You are here. பேய் ஓட்டுறது வந்து தந்தத்தால் தான் ஓட்ட முடியாது சும்மா முடியை பூட்டின்னு சங்கடி ஆடு அடிக்கிறது கொம்பால் அடிக்கிறதுலாம் கிடையாது கனெக்ட் பண்ணியே கனெக்ட் பண்ணியே தட்டி தூக்கிடுது 
ஆனா இந்த வேலை செய்யலாம் அது நமக்கு பாவங்கள் என்னன்னு <laughs> The Hanumantapuram temple in Singuperamal Koil is a temple where people with problems come to seek help from the gods. On certain days, private faith healers come to the temple to help people to ward off the evil eye. Possession doesn't always have to be bad. We met Suda, a young woman who says she has a goddess living inside her. அம்மனும் வந்து பக்கத்தில் வந்து அவங்களுக்கு கிட்ட வராத அளவுக்கு என்னை தடுக்கிறாங்க தடுக்கும்போது அது அதுலேருந்து எனக்கு இன்னும் சாமி மேலே அதிக பக்தி ஆயிடுச்சு யாராச்சும் இறந்துட்டா எனக்கு கனவுல வரும் எதுவும் இல்லை மூஞ்ச பார்த்தோடனே சொல்லுவேன் அங்கே வரும்போது எங்கள் பார்த்து சொல்லிவிடுவேன் இந்த ஒரு <laughs> <laughs> என்கிட்ட வரும்போது நான் அந்த கேஸ் எடுத்து நடத்துகிற பாருங்க இந்த ஒரு நாள் ரெண்டு நாள் உங்களை இப்படி அமைச்சா உடனே எனக்கு அந்த உங்களுடைய உடம்புல இருக்கிற நோய் அத்தினே என்ன வரும் எனக்கு என்ன ஒரு நாள் ஒரு இருபத்தி நாலு மணி நேரம்
we observe the rituals of the people who stay in the temple. In the early morning they walk around the temple and some of them appear to be in trance. They enter the temple when the puja starts. A puja is a ritual to offer goods to the gods and receive a blessing. The puja takes place in the holiest part of the temple, where filming is not allowed. We noticed that after the puja many of the patients were more relaxed. It seemed like this ritual gave them relief. The experience of possession is guided by the cultural background of patients. For instance, the Islam and Hinduism have different spirits that can manifest themselves in possessed people. Sudha explains her reality with symbols from her cultural background. The source of spirit possession could also be explained as an expression of social or personal imbalance. These imbalances are then somatized and the symptoms explained within the cultural framework. The healer acts as a therapist to cure the symptoms of the somatization. James Dow, a professor of cultural anthropology at Oakland University, suggests that Western psychotherapy, religious healing and shamanism all invoke similar psychological processes. The essence of his theory is that the healer persuades the patient to accept that the problem can be explained in terms of the cultural myth. The healer attaches transactional symbols to the patient's problems and then manipulates these symbols to help the patient transact his or her own problems. Especially Alahuddin's work can be explained in terms of this model. For the patients in the Hanumantapuram temple, catharsis seems to play a part in their healing routine. My time in India was short and I have only touched the surface of the fascinating field of faith healing. I hope nevertheless that this movie conveyed some of my fascination and discoveries. Mangalarupini madiyani sulini manmada paniyane <laughs>